Hawkman. Next. I'm a 13 year old male. Did I handle this situation first? First to when was when I called her out. Second to I was her apology. Hole number three. One of them niggas. Walking in Clayson Point. Let's see where Clayson Point's at. I want to know where the nigga from. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Now, I'm going to tell y'all like this. My mans, back in eighth grade, he was a hole getter. He had a whole, like, y'all know the Snapchat apps where you can save the snaps? Yeah, he had one of them. He had like 200 different nudes. He had a whole nude DLC package from the bitches in my grade, bro. He was a different bucket. He used to sell them. I told y'all about this. Niggas used to sell them, exchange. Niggas was doing nudes like Pokemon cards. It was the wildest shit ever. We call it the great nude exchange. But since then, you know, it died. But in eighth grade, bro, it was it was popping, bro. Niggas was selling 40, 40, 40 picks, $20 type shit. Damn, bro. That shit was wild as fuck, bro. Damn, bro. But yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I never participated in that. Would I? Shit, if I was him, no, I low-key would have. Because we ain't seen nothing wrong with it. I'm just being honest. Now I know it's wrong. But I'm saying back then, yeah, it's only, that's illegal as fuck. Don't do that. Don't do that. If y'all kids, don't do that. No, don't do that at all. That's illegal. You cannot do that. That's child porn. Um, but anyways... Yeah, bro, niggas was making, niggas was coming off, all, coming up off nudes. But, bro, he had bitches in his phone name as Snow Bunny number one through, I think, 18, bro. Like, he was a different buck, bro. Nigga, my, my bitch nudes was in there, bro. He was a different buck. It's crazy because I told y'all this. We was on a school trip. He was showing his collection. Now, I was his boy, so I ain't had to pay no fees. He would just show off his trading cards, you know? And... He's scrolling through, showing us. Now, we just horny. We don't see nothing wrong with this. Do not. This shit very weird. I'm telling y'all right now, this shit not cool. I'm just telling y'all my life experiences. Shit, they locked me up for this shit. I was just telling y'all my life. But he going through. He get past a certain, a certain titties. A certain pair of titties. I'm like, hey, my nigga. That shit look. That shit. I said, whose news is those? He just look at me and smirk. And both of my men starts laughing, bro. Smiling and laughing. I broke up with the bit only two months prior, bro. Two or three months, bro. Shit crazy as fuck. Mind you. <laughs> I tell these stories. Yo, I recycle the stories like every year, bro. Because I definitely told this before. But yo. When we was dating, we was texting. She said, I'm in the shower. I said, without me, right? I hit her with the without me, bitch. That's that's smooth riz. Eighth grade, 2016, that's smooth riz. She ain't never heard that before. I was different. I hit her with the without me. She was like, oh, why? She said, oh, you just want to see my body. No, you just want to see my titties, blah, blah, blah. Then she sent this nigga her titties, bro. She never sent me nudes, bro. I never seen her titties. Until my man showed up to me. I never hit. Nigga, I was in eighth grade, bro. Now she big, bro. That was fucked up. I don't know how that happened, bro. Now that nigga got my big news, bro. But anyways, let's see what's going on. What you want? Can we talk about this? About? We were dating and you were sucking dick. I don't know why. Um, Talk to him about it. At this point, gang, no, this is a leave open, bro. Because you got to respect yourself. You got to understand. You, you got to look at yourself as a king. She's talking back to you, gang. And you can't discipline her, gang, because we all humans. But you got to understand. If by responding to this, you want to understand why? Nigga, there's no understanding why. She's a dirty, stinking bitch. There's no understanding why, really. They're like, what, are you, what is there to understand, bro? She a daughter. Let's keep going. Bro, because me personally, I wouldn't have done something like that to you. Fuck another bitch. Okay, I don't care, gang. Oh, my God, 
bro. She don't care about you, bro. But like, what was the point of all that? Erm, you just wanted pleasure? Gang, she hitting you with work. Bro, that's not even a word. She hitting you with ghetto dictionary terms or whatever, urban dictionary. Erm? This shit will make a grown man cry. You just wanted pleasure? I don't see the point in all that. I wasn't even mad that you blocked me. <laughs> no, bro. What you mean? She blocked. She sucked a nigga dick and blocked you at the age of thirteen. Gang, at that point, it's. I don't. I just. I don't just want pleasure. Then what was the point of sucking dick while we were dating? Bro, I'm in a good mood right now. Don't fuck it up. My nigga, you are getting cucked out. This is the worst of the worst. It doesn't get worse than this. It doesn't get worse than this, bro. Then letting the nigga record that. How am I fucking it up? I'm trying to understand the point. Let me tell you how this right now. This real. I'm going to finish the read, but this is a tough read, gang. This is a very tough read. But I'm going to tell y'all straight like this. If this not a troll, you got to understand. Once you get disrespected, Dip. Don't explain or ask for a, oh, why? Why did you do? Why though? Why? Why? It's a waste of time, gang. It's a waste of time. You got to look at situations from the other perspective. Put yourself in other person's shoes. Imagine you in her shoes. You just suck a nigga dick. After sucking a different nigga dick. Sorry, the hand motion wild. That's wild as shit. My hand down now. But after sucking a nigga dick, you then block it, the nigga. And then after you block the nigga, he's texting you trying to get an explanation. What would you look at that nigga as? You look at him as a bitch. You look at him as a bitch. You look at him as a bitch. There's nothing else, bro. You would just look at him as a hoe ass nigga, bro. Right? Right. Anyone would. Anyone would. Because why are you coming to me? I just suck another nigga dick. I blocked you. I let him record me slurping that shit up. And you still going to ask for an explanation? The explanation is I don't like you and I wanted to suck some dick and be a thought. How can you really, like, gang? It's no point, bro. When you look at it like that, you're like, damn, bro. I got to get out of here. You got to know your worth. If you know your worth, would you wait around seeing what the fuck someone got to say? An explanation? Come on, bro. You wouldn't. You wouldn't, bro. No one would. What did you want to talk about? About what happened between us? Okay, talk. So, well, we only did that because he really likes to troll, and I don't really like hurting anyone's, even though I hurt yours. Trolling is sex and sending it to the BF? Bro, she said he liked to troll. Trolling is this dick in your mouth? That shit is... You should have been stopped talking to her, bro. I don't even know what to say to that. That doesn't seem like a joke. Both of y'all liked it. I know you probably won't forget, but I'm sorry. You're only sorry. Let me see the emoji, bro. Yup. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I already know what it is, bro. You did was so pathetic. It didn't even... I was just disappointed in you. You sound like her pops, my nigga. Fuck this bitch. Fuck her, bro. No, I really just don't like hurting people's feelings. I say sorry a lot. That's why I'm sorry. Yeah. Is that all? Yeah, I guess. Block me if I don't. I'm not going to block you. That's just being petty. Not even worth the block. Huh. I mean, you screenshotted her whole ass, but... Having a roster at 13 is outrageous. Yo, some niggas just be out there. But, hey, gang, this how. This is what I would say. Know your worth. Don't ask for no explanation, bro. Now, if they're explaining themselves, they're explaining themselves. But don't say, why would you do me like that? Like, on a serious note, don't say, why would you do this to me? Like, I don't know what, what, can y'all give me one situation where saying, why would you do this to me ever, like, helpful? Say you get slimed out by the nigga, bro. Gun to your head, your man's turn on you, say, give me everything in your pockets. Imagine that gun in your head and you're like, uh, uh, why would you do, why would you do this to me? Nigga, he want the money in your pockets. It's really like, bro, there's not. that's the explanation, it's right there. Like it's nothing, you feel me? It's not it's nothing it's nothing to say, dude. That's what I'm that's what I'm trying to say. There's really no in instance where asking for that is ever useful, I feel like. She's sucking dick and being recorded at 13. Yeah, this generation done. The reporting card was so lame. 
Like when bro said, thanks for your girl gang, I was like, you're welcome. This the nigga who posted it. Bruh. Nah, me too, bro. Fuck it, ruin her life. Fuck her. Low key, bro. Fuck her. She needs some discipline reaction, bro. I don't think that's a bad option. I actually know a nigga. No, I'm not gonna say that because I'm trying to. I, I low key want the girl, but I'm not gonna say it. I'm not. I don't want to get caught up. I frankly don't give a fuck. She just number three out of like twenty four. If you don't give a fuck, first of all, this bro twenty four. 24. Bro, y'all saying Nick Stream. Bro, I don't want to watch nor do Khan Academy. Yo, 